So, Ann, yes, running. what do you do for fun? How do you unwind and relax? Uh, I walk my dog, which doesn't sound very fun, but I don't know. My children and my dog fill my heart when I see them just out having fun running around. So this past weekend, um, Memorial Day, Labor Day weekend, um, I was up at the beach and just watching her run around. It just sounds like so small, but it's... No, that's awesome. That's awesome. But you have to admit, it's a random question given that we're here at Content Marketing World, yeah. right? Yeah. So let's put a little context behind that. So you're a well-known influencer. A brand wants to engage with you. If they engage with you in a way that is not relevant, how do you react? It feels like a pitch slap. Yeah. It feels like somebody is just reaching out to me for my influencer and status and not because I'm Anne. And so I'm not sure why I'm interested in that. Mm -hmm. the, best, the best influencer outreach moment for me was actually when somebody took the time to know who I was and they, speaking of my dog, they actually sent me some dog treats for my dog. They sent me uh, a scarf because I wear scarves. Don't have one on now, but I do quite often. Um, they sent me notebooks and um, Moleskine, which is my notebook of choice. Um, and then they sent me um, some little field notes and one of them had glasses on it. I was like, that is so perfect. They okay. took the time to get to know a little bit about me, which made me like them, which made me just have a conversation with them. Okay, so I was going to ask you, so they, they did a great job of personalizing it, yes. right? They got your attention. Yes. And then what happened next? It was a conversation? No, I said, you know what? Can you just never contact me again? Mm. Um, we did have a conversation. And uh, and now I would consider the, the woman who did that, she's, she's become my friend. And ultimately, that's a goal, right? It's like, I don't think of her in a business context anymore. I think of her in a friend context. And so we've sort of made that transition from it being a one-sided relationship, she wants something from me, to it just being much more of a give and take, like an actual relationship. So I know that sounds a little bit like, uh, I don't know, maybe a little Pollyanna, but that's what I, I just believe that's why people do business, right? You do, people, you do business with people you like. You know, I'm here at Content Marketing World because I love the organization, I have a lot of respect for Joe and what he's built. So many of my friends are here. Yes, I love content, and yes, I love marketing, but I love the community here more than that. <laughs> so, in wrap-up question here, what advice do you have for brands, other than to send you scarves and dog biscuits, <laughs> to, um, to, to, on that first contact, what's, the, what's your best advice for brands to reach out to influencers? I think that the key to just building relationships with influencers, and this isn't something that I invented, I got it from my friend Mitch Joel, it's to touch them 10 times before you ask for one thing. Those 10 things don't have to be big touches. It can be something very small, like uh, retweet me, um, just follow me on Twitter, you know, like my Facebook page, subscribe to my blog. It can be very small things, but I think the important thing is to give before you get. Perfect. Well said. Thank you, man.